Has your mum done that, Ty? Does no one know how to do a Windsor knot these days? How old are you? Hey, there's nothing wrong with taking pride in your appearance, mate. That's my army training, you know what I mean? Here we go. Do you know that she carries a picture of me in uniform around with her? Uh. Well, you can make that face, mate, but all the nice girls look a soldier. It's Sailor. Well, that's all right, cos you're not a nice girl. <clears throat> Why are we getting ready now? We ain't going for ages. Because I'm taking you for breakfast before we go to court. I'm not hungry. You should eat something, mate. You'll be OK. Of course you will. Look, you and Dylan are going to tell them what's what, and that'll be that. Yeah? Everything is going to be fine. Now, let me sort this tie out. Well, thank you all for coming. There's only two of us here, Roy. Uh, look, I'm, I'm not in the habit of uh, calling staff meetings, but in view of the events yesterday... Alex, are you all right? He's got a hangover. I haven't got a hangover. Well, maybe just a little one. I went out last night with lads. Well, well I, I'm, I'm sure you aware of the uh, customer who was verbally abusive yesterday. I've already apologised to Bernie and I would like to extend the same apology to you too. Uh, I know you've been through a great deal recently. Not as much as you. Well, be that as it may. Uh, I just want you to know that if either of you feel uncomfortable working here at the moment, then I will quite understand. And I've said the same to Bernie and Nina. And what did they say? Well, they're refusing to take any time off. Me too, Alex. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, looks like you're stuck with us, Roy. Well, I, I'm very grateful for your support. Group hug. No, that won't be necessary. Are you going up? Yes. I'm, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a call from Lauren's mother. All oh, right. OK. Well, I'm off. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. That's it's fine. It's fine. Have you really nothing better to do? Take it that wasn't Lauren's mum. They'll soon get bored. to see if you're going to throw it. Don't tempt me. Ryan's never going to forgive me. Oh, my heart bleeds for your love. It's all right for you. You had no one to lose. Have you forgotten Carla fired you yesterday? Yeah, I've been thinking about that and she can't fire me because I'm on the deeds. Well, now you're on the dole. Are you enjoying this? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm having time in my life. Do you know, I particularly enjoy the bit where I thought I was going to jail. Then you should have kept your mouth shut, shouldn't you? I'm not joking. Do you want Carla to change her mind? You are just as guilty as I am. So why isn't she punishing you? Because it was your idea in the first place. One of us has got to go, and to be honest, I could do with a break from you. Yeah? It's fine. I'm sick of the sight of you and all, so you've done me a favour, really, haven't you? Right, well, then we're both happy, aren't we? We're thrilled. I'm going for a coffee. <sighs> oh, don't forget your fancy handbag. I mean, you could have made an effort, Violet. You do realise we are going to court. Is he here? Dylan, why would Dylan be here? I've been calling you. Why didn't you pick up your phone? Why? What's happened? Dylan's gone. And so's all his stuff. Hey, uh, thanks for this. Oh, you're welcome. He's got a lot of homework he needs to do in the holidays. Don't worry, I'll be cracking the whip. How's Roy? Oh, he's not great, to be honest keeps getting these nasty phone calls. And then yesterday, some plant pot came in shouting the odds about Roy saying all sorts and, well, typical Roy. He was more bothered about us. He actually said that we don't have to go in at the moment. Hmm, it's that bad, is it? Yeah. But, you know, obviously I'm still going in and we all are. Roy needs all the support he can get. Can I go and see him? Ah. Oh. Uh, look, uh, I just don't think that's a good idea going to the cafe. Not at the moment, OK? I'll let Roy know that you're thinking about him, though. Hey, look, buddy, I'll catch you later, right? Be good. Oh. 
You all right? Yeah. You? I'm okay. Yeah. Go. No. So, I haven't actually been to any dinner parties of the all like that. Look, we're never going to be best mates skipping down the street. Is that what best mates did? But what Bethany did, it's not right. Yeah, well, some people just don't get on, do they? They were accusing Daisy of nicking Stephen's money, though. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, got to go. See you. So, so what can you say? No, I'm just sort of going into work for an hour. I need something to distract myself. Waited for this day for weeks, and now it's finally here. How's Liam doing? Yeah, he's OK, I think. It's hard to tell he keeps it all in, you know. I'm just glad that he gets to do it all on camera and he doesn't have to face that. I don't even know what he is. Mason? Mm. I've got a few choice words I could call it. Don't get me started. All right, well, listen, give me a call later, OK? Hey? We can go for a drink or something. Yeah. Well, we'll see how we get on in court first. Yeah, but I'm sure everything's going to be fine. We'll get locked up and Liam can start to get on with his life, can't he? Hmm. I'd like to think it was that easy. OK. See you later. Whoa, 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 careful. She needs all the sleep she can get at her age. Oi, I heard that. I was just doing a bit of reality coding. I know what I'm talking about. Mm, I'm glad someone does. Well, it's just like manifesting. Mm, still none the wiser. Oh, it's about thinking about what you want in your life and then trying to visualise that in your head. Yeah. He needs a cattle prod to get anything in his head. No, 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 go on, go on, I'm listening. So, once you've visualised it, then you're halfway to making it happen. I know it all sounds a bit happy clappy and, oh, you know me, there's nothing I hate more than cheerful people, but... Oh, is that why you're with him, then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these supplies are killing me. What? Oh, I'll get it. Well, Visualising is just about having confidence in yourself. It's not that difficult, really. You should hear Rowan talk about it. Y yeah, uh, I'm not locking it. If, you know, if it works for Leanne, it's great. You open? Not yet, Gary, no. We're visualising. What? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's a gag, it's a gag. Sit anywhere, sit anywhere, Gary. Have you got any plans today, or are you just going to sit around in your dressing gown? Oh, yeah, it's a big one today. I've got to go to the post office and send off a parcel, and then I've got to go to the shops cos we've run out of toilet paper. Well, I'm going to the shop. I'll get toilet paper. Hey, I've only got two things to look forward to. You can't steal one off me. Oh, it's all right. I'm all right. Are you sure? Is that why you're playing Gregory Isaac till one o'clock in the morning? I miss your mum can't be out. Why are all the best songs sad? No, later. Can't deal with bills now. What? Well, it doesn't look like a bill. Well, they're the worst then, aren't they? The insurance has come in from the fire. It's more than I thought it was going to be. Uh, right, well, uh, that's something, now. Right? Hey, uh, enjoy you too. Nice one, mate. You can't go to court on an empty stomach. Hey, you look very smart. Oh, thank you. I I'm talking to Liam. <laughs> How are you feeling, love? I'm okay. You're testifying on a live link, aren't you? They're great. Yeah, you've got nothing to worry about. Hi. Um, have you seen Dylan? No, what? He said he was going down for breakfast in the hotel and I haven't seen him since. But he's not picking up his phone either. Well, I'm sure he's fine. There's no need to panic. Oh, Sean, I saw him chatting to some lad last night. It looked a bit tense. Mason. Come on, we'll find him. Listen, I'm going to let them look, all right? You stay here. Won't be long. What if Mason's done something to Dylan? Well, he's doing court in a couple of hours. Even he's not that stupid, is he? He'll be fine, all right? Just try and eat something. And do not worry about Mason. You hear me? I'll be locked up by the end of the day. Everything all right? You just have to go out for a minute. I'm not that hungry. Can you tell Gary I've gone in? You OK? I'm fine. Just get 
get so much from my dad and Michael. They died to turn up empty handed. Okay. You know you get locked up for talking to yourself. Well, it's my main source of intellectual conversation. <laughs> Cheeky. Liam. Where's you been? It's the moment Dad are looking all over. I'm getting off. I try to say sorry for all I've done. What do you mean you're getting off? I'm leaving. I'm not going to court. Hey, what's this? They were all team talk before the big game. You're somewhere. I've just been to the gym. The gym before court? You're a cool customer. I'm going to be there as well to give you a bit of moral support. Do you think these shoes go with the suit? I've only got one pair of dress shoes. I don't know if the brown goes with the black. You've probably got bigger things to worry about, haven't you? See you in court. That sounds a bit threatening, doesn't it? You know what I mean. You can't get off. If I give evidence, I'm dead. Mason's threatened you? Yeah, I'm a family. He's gonna get locked up. What about his brothers? He's got two older brothers. Do you reckon his brothers will come off for me? Maybe he should come with me. Come on, we'll both go together. if she was. Fair point. Look, I know you probably don't want to see me right now, but I haven't got anywhere else to go. Carla hates my guts. Jenny wants nothing to do with me. I've lost my job and I cannot lose you too. So, can I come in? Carla thinks I shouldn't go back with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Carla's never really been my number one fan, has she? Yeah, because you're the victim here. You know... The whole world doesn't revolve around you, Daisy. Doesn't it? You used to be a narcissist, now look at me. Look, I'm... I am sorry. Not as sorry as I am. I just... I can't get my head around it. That Stephen Reed killed three people, stole hundreds of thousands of pounds, and instead of giving it back to Carla, he kept it. You lied to me for weeks. I'm sorry. I defended you, you know. When people said that you were selfish and shallow and just out for what you can get, well, don't I feel like an idiot now? I'm sorry. But you keep saying that, but it doesn't mean a thing, does it? What do you want me to say? Nothing. I don't want you to say anything, because that's the only way I can be sure you're not lying to me. Do you want me to go? What do you think? Uh, where's Liam gone, Nick? Uh, he said he had to go in. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I've only got cash, sorry, mate. Oh, right, do you want me to box that out for you? Morning. Oh, cappuccino and fancy French pastry. I really day this girl went to law school. Uh, it's just a few bits from the bistro, but if you're going to be like that, I'd say come back. All right, all right, let's go steady. Yeah, he's watching his uh, figure, apparently. Someone has to. Mm, you're in a good mood. Yeah, well, we heard from the insurance people. I'm getting a payout. Yeah, they haven't coughed up yet, though. No, but they will do. OK, and is it going to be enough to pay for your debts? Uh, no, so it makes more sense for me to use the money to buy new tools. I know what you're thinking, but think about it. I can't work without tools, can I? I'm good, but I'm not that good. If I can't work, I can't earn. But if I'm earning, I can pay off my debts quicker, all right? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we cannot let this happen. Liam? I think he's gone home. You think? Well, he's not picking up his phone. I told him to wait at the bistro while I went looking for Dylan, because he's gone missing. So you've just left him on his own? Well, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, yeah, because there's never been an issue there, has there? Well, what have you said? Any joy? 
Why don't you go back to the hotel and see if he's gone there? Right, I'm going to call the police. I should have done it straight away. Yeah, call them. Right, he's not at home. How do you know? Because I've just come from there. Well, why didn't you say that a minute ago? Oh, wow. You're having a go at me when you're the one who left him on his tod. It's an alibi missing. Give me the police, please. Stop. We've got to go now. No, we have to go back. You do what you want, mate, but I'm off. Mate? We're mates now, are we? You owe me. I'm sorry. Look, I know you're scared. So am I. The last thing I want to do is go to court. But I have to. We both have to. He's threatened my family. And you'll think you'll be any safer if Mason does go to prison. You'll be free then, won't he? Even if you don't go to court, you still grass him up to the police. The last six months have been a nightmare. You know what I've been through? And I'm only just starting to feel like I've got something to look forward to. And if you don't give evidence and Mason gets away with it, then this is never going to end. Visualise your ideal self. Take some time to imagine what that ideal self would look like. What are their values? What qualities do they possess? Only by visualising your ideal self... It sounds like a perfume advert from Jean-Paul Gaultier. For the woman who has potential. So how does it work? What, so you can take the make? No, I'm interested. What, is he a life coach, a therapist? Well, he's a bit of both, actually. Is it all online? No, seriously, I'm interested. <sighs> OK, yeah, they hold a few seminars, but, yeah, mostly it's online, you know, mm. pre-recorded stuff, one-to-one -one video calls. He's actually giving me a really good perspective on life. He's very motivational. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. You just can't do it, can you? You've got to knock everything down, especially if it's something I'm interested in. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you have a go yourself? Oh, well, are we scared that there might actually be something in it? No, I just don't think it's a good idea at the moment. You can go to Hope's, that's fine. OK, yeah, yeah. What's up? Uh, Sam wants to go to Roy's. I don't think it's safe. Well, you don't think he's guilty? No, no, of course I don't. I just don't think the cafe's a good place to be at the moment. I don't want Sam in the middle of that. Why have you stopped? I meant to be doing my homework. Oh, I never did my homework. It never did me any harm. Don't say it. This is child exploitation. Ah, shut up and get on with it. Can you just dry it with a towel? No, my hair will go frizzy. But my arm's tired. Well, use the other one. Look, come on, you're really good at it. Although you do need to work on your small talk. Stuff like, you know, where are you going on your holidays, love? What does your fella do for a living? Funnily enough, mine's a hairdresser. Hey, you know what? I should have a word with Audrey and try and get you a Saturday job at the salon. I never want to see another woman's head for the rest of my life. So much hurt, so many layers. Hey, what did your dad say? He said it's OK if I go to Hoops. What, and leave me with a job half done? Yeah, I'm sure you can do it by yourself. Well, I was going to ask you to give me a manicure, but... Hey, I'm only joking. Go on, off you pop. Give my love to Hope, won't you? Yeah. Job, actually. Bethany says hi. That was a joke, obviously. Yeah, got that. <clears throat> hey, look, for what it's worth, Bethany feels really bad by what she said. She knows you didn't steal that money. She knows you wouldn't do something like that. Who would? Gotta go. Are you okay? Let me get you a refill. Just five minutes. Ah, oh, Sam. How are you? I'm OK. Can I get you a cup of hot chocolate? I was hoping we could have a game of chess. I'd like nothing more. Hello, my girls. Your father knows you're here. Yeah, he said I could come round. You're all the way, though. I'll get knotted. Go up to the flat. Why did you leave him on his own? He was in the bistro. I told him to stay there. I swear, Gary, if anything's happened to him. We should be out there still looking. We've got to wait here until the police arrive. We're wasting time. Why is he not picking up? Because... 
Everyone ready for the off? Not really, mate. Get out of the word. No, not now, Kurt. Do you think these shoes are OK? I know I can't actually go into the court. No, I said not now! Kirk, Liam and Dylan have gone missing. I only saw them a bit ago. What? Where? Oh, you're OK? Where have you been? I'll kill you. We've been worried about you. We called the police. We really went for a walk. A walk? <laughs> Alia said she saw you last night with a lad. Was that Mason? Is he threatening you? No. It's nothing. It's fine. I'm beginning to think you've done a runner. Are you okay? Look, Dylan, you are doing the right thing. I am very proud of you. Right, come on, you. I know you too well. I know something's going on. Out with it. <sighs> What's the point? It'll just be another nail in the coffin of your opinion of me. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Bethany was right. Right about what? I did steal Stephen's money. What? And I bought the pub with it. And that bag, and a bunch of other stuff that I didn't earn. Why did you do it? Things were really bad. Me and Jenny were squashed in Rita's flat. I just lost. We just lost the pub, and I saw my chance to make things better. So you just stole the money? It didn't feel like stealing. It felt like I found it. Turns out that money was Carla's, so she sacked me. Jenny's washed her hands of me and Ryan. You don't want to know. What do you expect me to say? Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Stealing a quarter of a million quid to buy yourself a handbag isn't a mistake. Selfish. And it's amoral. Or you could say that. What did you think I was going to do? Just roll my eyes and go, oh, that's our daisy. I thought that you might know me better to know that at that time, I wasn't thinking straight. <clears throat> you know, sometimes when people are up against it, they try and do the right thing. Maybe you should give that a try. You're exposed. I'm sorry. Your rook. It's unprotected. Yes. Oh, is this a trap? Wait, no. Don't tell me. Let me keep thinking. It's been a long time since we last played. I've been busy with school. Not today. Since the holidays. Ah. Uh, oh, that's why you came round. Because you're at a loose end. Yeah. And not because you thought I needed to be kept occupied. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's a trap, isn't it? Shouldn't you answer that? Let me just go with this first. You look very handsome. Quite the fashion plate, as your great-grandmother would say. Look, I know, I know this is tough. I know. But we've just got one last push. OK? Stick with it. Right, the cab is here in two minutes, so you hang on a sec while I chivvy your mother. Bye, look, hurry up, cab's here! You know what? Look well square in a suit. What do you want? Mason sent me. Wants me to show you know the score. You know what to say? Yeah, I'm going to tell the truth. Truth is, you didn't see a knife. No, it's not. Pretty thick for a square. Let me spell it out for you. When they ask, did you see Mason with a knife, you're going to answer no. And the next time you see a knife, it'll be sticking out your guts. Bye, oh. And your dad's and your mum's. Sorry. I don't know how Maria does up this skirt. You need eyes in the back of your head. Well, at least she's borrowed you something to wear. Huh? Right then, here it is. All good? Let's go. Can 
you make spag bol without tomatoes? Well, that would just be spaghetti and mince. Spaghetti? Oh, no, we, we don't have any of that. I was going to use rice. Oh, my goodness. It's like my mother's never left. More importantly, I was going to tell him. You? Me? Yes, you're the lawyer. Solicitor. Exactly. So you can use your power of persuasion, can't you? You're very good at it. No, Michael, I told him about the final demand letter after you bailed. It's your turn. I wouldn't know what to say. Just say to him, you know, Dad, we know you mean well, but we just feel paying off your debts is a better long-term plan rather than trying to build the business back up. See? You've worked it out. You should do it. Right, why don't we both do it? As long as you promise to buy some spaghetti and tomatoes. Yeah, all right, I'll go to Dave's now. We need to get back to work anyway. I still feel like you're better at delivering bad news. Oh, shut up, my God. Hiya. Hey. Oh, I'm not about. She's in her room, deep fragging a hard drive or something. She's doing her exercises, then. What else? Hey, you don't have to be so snide about it. Sorry, I'm sorry. So you think it's a good thing, then? Well, I mean, it makes sense, really, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. Well, your brain's just a computer, isn't it? Well, kind of. Well, I mean, it's not exactly the same as a computer, but, you know, computer or not, it's going to last you your whole life, doesn't it? I mean, it makes sense to give it a bit of a spring clean every now and again. Yeah, I agree. I just think they're oversimplifying things. Well, yeah, they probably are. But well, they're just trying to put it into terms that people understand. You believe in mindfulness, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, it's just the same sort of thing. The computer's just the metaphor they use to help it make sense to people. Mm. So you're going to keep it up, then? I'm not too sure. Well, why wouldn't you, if you agree with it? Well, I don't have the money. The charging for it? Yeah. Well, I thought it was just some online videos. It is. I mean, it's not all free. You've got to pay for extra access, different materials. Anyway, I've got to go. Uh, I've got to get to community service, so... See ya. Even after I gave him his phone back, and even after I knew it wasn't broken, I still thought he was going to stab me. And when he didn't, I decided to run home. The next day at school, it felt like nothing had ever happened. And that was until I found out that my stepbrother had contacted the police. I was angry at first because I was scared that Mason would hurt me. But I'm glad Jake did what he did now, because hopefully it means that Mason won't be able to hurt anybody anymore. Thank you for that statement, Liam. Now, the defence barrister is going to ask a few questions about what you've said. Do you understand? Yes. But first, could you please read the oath? I promise by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Mr Walsh. Thank you, Judge. Hello, Liam. Hi. I don't have many questions, so we'll have this over with quickly. OK. You ready? Yeah. You said that on Wednesday, the 22nd of November last year, that Mason threatened you with a knife. Is that correct? Yes. And on the same day, Mason was searched by a police officer. I found that out later, yeah. Then you'll be aware that no knife was found on Mason at that point. Because Dylan had it for him. Dylan Wilson. Uh, did you see Dylan hiding the knife? No. So how do you know that it happened? Because he told me. I see. Is Dylan a friend of yours? Yes. But he helped a boy who supposedly threatened you? Maybe he was scared. Were Dylan and Mason friends too? Yes. Were you happy with the friendship? No. Would it be fair to say that you are jealous of Mason? Yeah, I was at first, but now I know he's just a bully. Check. And mate. I thought you might have been too distracted to beat me. You played well. You know, you never seem to enjoy winning. I don't regard it as winning. Chess is a puzzle with a human opponent. I, I have to solve the puzzle. Another game? Why don't you answer your phone? It's not important. 
Who's calling you? No one. Smartphones can do many things, but I don't think that they can conjure phantom calls from apparitions. It's my dad. And why don't you want to speak with him? I told him I was going out to hopes. And if you answer and he hears my voice, he'll know you lied? Yeah. Why did you lie? He said he just want me around here. He thinks it's dangerous, but I want to be here to help you and to take your mind of things, what's going on. I, I, I see. Gather your things. But Roy, I want to stay here. I appreciate it. And much as I enjoy your company, your father's right. It's been remiss of me to allow you to stay here while I'm being targeted. Come on. You were with Mason the day in question, weren't you? Yes. And do you remember the encounter with Liam? Yes. You didn't see the knife that Liam says Mason had, did you? No. I'm sorry, could you repeat? You did not see Mason with a knife. No, Mason didn't have the knife. Dylan, what are you doing? Sir, I would ask that you remain silent. Just to confirm. Dylan, as there seems to be some confusion between what you said on your ABE and what you're saying now. Did Mason have a knife, yes or no? No. No further questions, George. Okay, Dylan. Just a few more re-examination questions from the prosecution barrister. This will all be over soon. Mrs Bracewell. Hi, Dylan. Thank you for everything so far. Now, in your ABE statement, you stated that you did see Mason threaten Liam with a knife. Is that correct? Yes. And today, you're saying you didn't see that? Yes. May I remind you of the oath that you made earlier? Where you promised to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. What on earth's got into you? Sir, I won't warn you again. We all make mistakes, Dylan. But what's important is that we do the right thing in the end. For your family. For your friends. What is the truth? I'm sorry. Mason did have the knife. I'll message you my details over later. Okay, and I'll um, I'll get what's left in Stephen's account transferred as soon as. Yeah, good. <sighs> what's that? Three handbags, a pair of sunglasses, a luggage set and some lash curlers all returned. Before you count it, it's not everything, but what I can't return, I will pay you back for. Eventually. Daisy. No, 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 I know I'm not getting my job back and I'm not asking for anything, really. I did a bad thing, and I know that. But I'm the one that's walking away from this with nothing, so... <laughs> it's a bit of karma, isn't it? I'm sorry, Carla. There you go. Oh, thank you. Honestly, you've saved our tea. Dev's usually got loads. What are you making? Pizza. When well, you got lemons? Post pizza G and T. Sam. Roy. 
I thought you said you were at Hope's. I'm afraid that wasn't true. We, we were playing chess. I, I didn't realise he hadn't got your permission. So we were at the cafe? I was upstairs. Roy needed a friend. Shona, will you take uh, Sam home with you for a bit? Yeah. Come on, Samwise. Hey, Sam, we'll talk about this later. His intentions were noble. Hey, Roy, 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 come, come. Roy, look, I don't care about his intentions. He's a kid. I'm sorry. You should know better. I'm sorry. What were you thinking? You won't have stuff in your cafe because you're worried about their safety, but you will have a 12-year-old boy in your flat? Yes. Yes, you're right. I, I, my judgment has been somewhat impaired these past few weeks. Yeah, not half. Yeah. Apart from anything else, do you not see how this looks? In what way? Right, you invite a 12-year-old boy to your flat, you walk that boy home. You, you're not suggesting that I'm a, a danger to Sam? No, no, there's not a malicious bone in your body. We know that. But everyone's wound up about this girl. You're just giving them ammunition. Do you not see that? Yes, 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 I do. You've got to see how this looks on the outside, Roy. Y yes, yes. OK? Yes. But we know you're innocent, but, but hanging around with kids is not a good look. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. I should go. You sure that you're going to be all right in it? I am now. I'm sorry, mate. I think it's okay. Thanks for telling the truth. What happened, Dylan? Mason threatened him yesterday, and then he sent one of his thug life buddies to do the same today. So he was just a bit scared, and he was also just trying to protect me and his mum. Should have guessed. But look, you got there in the end. Women's be the ones protecting you, not the other way around. Mason Radcliffe, please stand. Right, whatever happens, we'll be okay. Yeah. Hey, bro, look. Having reviewed all evidence, this court finds you guilty of threatening Liam Connor in a public place with a knife on the 22nd of November, 2023. In part, I have arrived at this verdict due to your unwillingness to give testimony in your own defence but I couldn't have come to my decision without the evidence of the entirely credible witness statements we have heard today. I will adjourn your sentencing for one week to hear from your youth justice worker. However, given that this is your second knife crime offence, I warn you that as a matter of law, the only sentence available to me is a sentence of imprisonment. <sighs> Are you sure you're going to be all right getting them back to yours? Oh, yeah. Oh, Michael will carry on. Will I? Uh, you will if you know what's good for you. Fine. Right, um, we'll try some of this. No, I ain't, I ain't eating that. What is that? It does smell a bit weird. It's corned beef. I, f I forgot to get mince. But the beef is beef. Are you staying for tea? Oh, thanks, but... Um... Mm, run while you can. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Goodbye. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys, something smells. Nice. Oh, no, no, that was the end of his sentence. Something smells. Um, look, I'm uh, glad I caught you both, actually. I know I said I was going to spend the insurance money on some new tools, but I've decided against that idea. Oh. Yeah, I think the money would be best spent putting a dent in my debts. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Of course, I'll be uh, keeping a little bit of the insurance money aside. What for? Fish and chips. Because I'm not coming anywhere near what's in that pot. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that. Sorry for keeping you. No, no worries, mate. Can't really turn you away after the day you've had with Liam. Hey, glad they're locking up that little creep. Yeah, me too. Night. Good night, mate. Night, it's just the lodger. I forgot my back door key, but I, I won't keep you. Daisy, wait. Ryan, please. I can't take another kick in. No, it's it's not that. I, I want to say I'm sorry. What for? I know everyone's been piling on, me included, and I know it hurts. A little bit. Still, what you did was still pretty stupid. All right, you're not done. But I think you've probably been punished enough. 
I don't think Carla would agree. She'd come around. With a baseball bat, maybe. All this, it's not forever, you know. And what about you? My problem is, is that I'm in love with you. Can't really stay angry at you for very long, can I? I love you too. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> what a surprise. The superhero saves the day. It's not about them winning. It's about how they win. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Come on, you. Let's get you off to bed. It's getting late. OK. Liam. I was really proud of you today. You know that. Yeah. Right, bin's done. Is the film finished? Yeah. Yeah, just now. Let me guess, the hero won. <laughs> Good night. Night. Night, mate. He seems good. Yeah. And what about you? Yeah, I'm getting there. Got the result in the end, eh? Hmm. I suppose I should be pleased. Not that we should be breaking out the champagne. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get myself off to bed. All right, I'm still wired. I might stay up for a bit. Make sure you come in and save night. What do you mean, coming? To Liam's room. Well, you're not still sleeping in there, yeah? Yeah. But you heard the judge. Mason's gonna get locked up. So? So he can't get to Liam anymore. Gary, this isn't just about Mason. Those thoughts that Liam was having, they don't just switch off like a light because of what some judge said. He needs looking after. Yeah, and I agree with that. But he can't sleep in the same room as his mum forever, can he? He's got to go it alone someday. Yeah, well, that day's not today. Night. And if you want to dive into the secrets of the street with an exclusive behind the scenes guided tour, snapping selfies on the cobbles and even meeting some of the show stars, discover how at coronationstreetexperience.co.uk. Coming up, it's the concluding part of our new drama, Passenger, next. Yeah.